So last week we have installed the Oxygen OS 13 on our Redmi Note 10 Pro. So I have been using this for a few days, uh, not uh, literally though, just here and there. And I have run few test cases and here is the uh, quick uh, review of uh, Oxygen OS 13 port on Redmi Note 10 Pro. So let's get started. This is Oxygen OS 13 port uh, ported from OnePlus 9RT and it was uh, built uh, last month. The, it is currently having the security patch of uh, February 2023 which is 3-4 months uh, old and the kernel here we have is another kernel uh, something 4.14.313. So here I will be comparing this uh, my test case scores with uh, our previous uh, MIUI ERIS uh, port. Uh, so yeah first uh, as you see in our uh, installation video we have routed this rom and we have installed the mua camera which is uh, working uh, fine because uh, without uh, even having a, a mua camera we have the mua camera here but you have to uh, root your device so when you start uh, rooting your device you will have some flaws especially the uh, safety net safety net uh, here also it didn't uh, fully pass so i have but uh, when i was enabling uh, denial list for uh, the banking apps the banking app started working like hdfc and the gpa is working but still rooting uh, having some flaws if you use some other uh, enterprise level apps so that is one of the major advantage uh, which i think battery backup wise it is somewhat uh, decent uh, not the greatest or not the poor uh, from 54 percentage to 11 percentage uh, i got some two hours uh, nine minutes uh, screen on time and if you calculate it averagely it will be like uh, six to seven hours of uh, screen on time which is same as the miui eris also uh, here the charging is not that much faster it is taking it took like uh, 90 minutes or something so that is that and i have run some uh, performance and real time rendering things so i first will see the 3d mark so 3d mark score here i got uh, 1121 with the 6.70 fps in previous ERS also we had a similar one which is uh, 1120 with uh, 6.7 fps so there isn't much flaw in here second i have uh, also uh, run the uh, stress test so stress test wise 15 minutes straight it took like uh, it was uh, stayed in the uh, level of 83 percentage all the time the benchmark uh, which is really really great when compared to MIUI ERS which is uh, there we got somewhere like uh, 76 uh, percentage and also uh, I have run the Geekbench 5 as well as 6 5 we got the uh, single score of uh, single core performance of uh, 494 and the multi core is uh, 1511 with the uh, graphical computational uh, score of 1292 in the uh, MIUI ERS also we had a similar uh, performance so uh, 499 with the multi core of 1510 and uh, we had a computational of 1273 which is uh, all the ports will be having same uh, because uh, all will be having similar uh, kernel uh, so yeah and a Geekbench 6 uh, again we I got uh, around like uh, 741 uh, single core and the uh, 1670 multi core with the uh, 1281 uh, computational there uh, it also similar with our MIUI ERS which is uh, 740 plus uh, 1708 uh, multi core with the computational of 1180 so these scores are uh, uh, really good in my opinion performance wise it doesn't have uh, much issues and security concern wise safety net doesn't pass because of the magisk i have tried it and uh, the gpa and uh, hdfc uh, was uh, hdfc app was working so you have to enable that uh, denial list option which i have made a, a dedicated video you can watch it uh, using this uh, link uh, which appears or in the end screen it will be available but still you have a router your device <laughs> and uh, i have also uh, tested the carrier aggregation yes carrier aggregation is working fine uh, 4g plus uh, works i have uh, installed the netmonster and i have uh, tried it also other things it is smooth uh, quick switch options are there and uh, when i speaking about the oxygen os now it's color os uh, merging or something but still uh, most of the uh, good customizations is available display wise or uh, i would say uh, any UI wise uh, da themes and colors so those options are already available in previous oxygen OS which we have seen in multiple videos so i don't want to get uh, more into that uh, particular area
so overall uh, it is a good port i would uh, say i don't know whether it will continue or not uh, so what is uh, my opinion well it's a good port rom maybe i don't mostly suggest uh, others to use a port rom as a daily driver even uh, i don't use it i mostly prefer custom rom to to its uh, ota nature and uh, other uh, stability related uh, concerns but still uh, this is a good rom uh, if you want to take a look at how oxygen wise looks and how what are all the customization is there or you need to if you want to get the feeling of it you can definitely uh, give it a try it is uh, worth uh, checking the few things i have uh, noticed is battery seems to be a little bit uh, less uh, but uh, i don't know whether it is fine or not uh, number wise it is uh, seems fine but i feel like it is <laughs> reducing a bit faster and the thing is uh, about uh, the another thing is the security concern which i have uh, told already uh, magisk uh, i have uh, have to install it uh, due to uh, installing the mua camera or uh, running that uh, uh, script which you have watched if you have watched the installation video you would be understanding what i am trying to explain here and also uh, in initial days i have faced a uh, uh, high level of uh, battery uh, uh, drainage which was uh, due to the uh, always on display which i have uh, turned it off but still if i charging the device it will uh, turn on the always on display but that is fine and uh, there is uh, another issue which i notice uh, somewhat uh, the screen is uh, blinking or something uh, this one i don't know whether it is uh, due to the uh, refresh rate of the display or not but uh, that was there it may be fixed uh, due with using some uh, display for uh, display patches or any changing tweaking the setting to 62 or uh, 120 hertz or something so yeah uh, it's good i had uh, tried it and i liked it a lot so yeah thank you for watching Quote, madam.